Approximately 66 million years ago, dinosaurs experienced just about the worst day possible on Earth when a giant asteroid the size of Mount Everest slammed into what is now the Yucatan Peninsula. It triggered apocalyptic wildfires, mega tsunamis, and a choking darkness that wrapped the planet in a death shroud. For decades, scientists believed this single catastrophic event wiped out nearly every dinosaur species almost instantly. But what if that wasn't entirely true? Recent fossil discoveries are challenging everything we thought we knew about the end of the dinosaurs. From strangely preserved bones that seem to lie just above the impact layer, to mysterious fossil beds filled with creatures that shouldn't have survived, to signs of biological activity long after the skies went dark, these clues suggest the extinction may not have been so immediate. Some scientists now argue that certain species may have persisted, clinging to life in isolated corners of the Earth for days, weeks, even possibly years after the asteroid's impact. If that's the case, then history's greatest extinction wasn't a sudden apocalypse, but a slow, brutal collapse. And that raises one haunting question. Did dinosaurs actually survive days, months, even years after the impact? Again, with a flash of light brighter than a thousand suns, followed by silence. Then, devastation. A massive asteroid, six miles wide and hurtling through space at 45,000 miles per hour, tore through Earth's atmosphere and slammed into the shallow sea off the coast of what is now Mexico. The moment it struck, the force released was equivalent to over a billion nuclear bombs detonating at once. Within seconds, a blinding shockwave ripped across continents, flattening forests, vaporizing life, and sending a wall of superheated air in all directions. Fires ignited instantly, raging infernos spreading across the globe, turning vibrant prehistoric landscapes into burning wastelands. As molten rock and debris were ejected high into the atmosphere, they rained back down like fiery bullets, igniting even more wildfires. Moments later, colossal mega-tsunamis, some over 100 feet high, rushed outward, swallowing coastlines and drowning anything in their path. The skies darkened as ash and sulfur choked the atmosphere, blocking out sunlight and plunging the world into an endless twilight. Photosynthesis stopped, temperatures dropped, a nuclear winter had begun. Across the world, panicked dinosaurs ran blindly, their instincts no match for the scale of the apocalypse unfolding around them. Massive herbivores collapsed from starvation. Predators turned on each other in desperation. Forests were reduced to charred skeletons, and once lush habitats became lifeless deserts. Yet, despite the chaos, the death, and the absolute destruction, some creatures didn't die. Burrowing animals escaped the flames underground. Aquatic species weathered the collapse in the depths. Some small feathered dinosaurs found refuge in trees and caves, holding on just long enough to see what came after. The asteroid impact was not an instant kill shot for all life. It was the opening act of a prolonged extinction, one that tested the limits of endurance. While the skies fell and the world burned, a handful of species defied the odds. The planet had changed forever, but the story of survival was just beginning. In the wake of the impact, as flames raged and the sky turned black, the Earth was a planet on fire. But not everything died. While towering dinosaurs collapsed under falling ash and starvation, deep below the surface, life clung on. Small mammals, reptiles, and insects that lived in underground burrows were shielded from the worst of the inferno. Beneath the soil, they waited out the first brutal days, surviving where the giants could not. In the oceans, marine life fared slightly better. Though the surface waters boiled and food chains were shattered, species that lived in deeper, colder regions managed to survive the initial chaos. In freshwater lakes and rivers, certain fish and amphibians persisted, albeit barely, navigating waters clouded with ash and debris. But perhaps most fascinating of all were the smaller feathered dinosaurs, some no larger than chickens, that may have had a better shot at survival due to their size, metabolism, and ability to adapt. These creatures, closely related to modern birds, may have taken to the skies or hidden in dense vegetation, eking out an existence in a world that was dying. And then there's the Tanis fossil site in North Dakota, a place that has stunned paleontologists around the world. Here, fossils were found in a sediment layer laid down just minutes after the asteroid struck. Fish are frozen mid-swim, their gills clogged with glass-like spherules ejected from the impact. A tangled mass of bones, teeth, and debris 
lies buried beneath a layer of chaotic sediment, capturing the exact moment when life was violently interrupted. But here's what's strange. Among the fossils are signs of animals that didn't die instantly, including fragments that may belong to dinosaurs. These discoveries have sparked a growing belief among some scientists that the extinction wasn't as immediate as once thought. Some species may have survived for days, weeks, or even months after the initial blast, enduring the aftermath before finally succumbing to starvation, freezing temperatures, and ecological collapse. It raises the question, was the extinction of the dinosaurs truly a single cataclysmic moment or a slow, painful erasure of an entire dynasty? In pockets across the planet, life tried to resist the end, and in some extraordinary cases, it briefly succeeded. The extinction of the dinosaurs has long been portrayed as an instant apocalypse, a single devastating blow from the heavens that wiped them out in a geological blink. Many scientists still stand by this view, pointing to the global layer of iridium-rich clay found in rock strata around the world. This layer, created by the vaporized asteroid and deposited across the Earth, marks a clear boundary between the world before and after the impact. Below it, dinosaur fossils are abundant. Above it, they vanish, seemingly overnight. This abrupt cutoff in the fossil record is one of the strongest pieces of evidence for an immediate worldwide extinction. But not everyone agrees with that version of events. A growing number of paleontologists and geologists argue that the extinction may not have been so sudden. They point to fossil discoveries that appear to show dinosaur remains in sediment layers above the iridium boundary, a finding that, if accurate, would mean some dinosaurs survived for years, even thousands of years, after the impact. These bones are rare and often hotly debated, with critics claiming they may have been displaced by erosion or geological disturbances. Still, the controversy refuses to fade. Adding to the complexity is the survival of birds modern descendants of small feathered theropod dinosaurs. These avian dinosaurs not only survived the impact but went on to thrive in the new world. Their existence blurs the line between extinction and evolution. If birds are technically dinosaurs, then can we truly say that all dinosaurs went extinct? Moreover, recent studies have suggested that certain regions of the planet, far from the immediate devastation, may have served as temporary refuges for some species. These isolated pockets could have supported survivors for a short period before the global climate collapse inevitably reached them. The question, then, is not simply whether the asteroid killed the dinosaurs, but how quickly that death unfolded. Was it a single, sudden catastrophe that erased an entire lineage in hours? Or was it the beginning of a slow, agonizing decline, where species faded one by one over years of darkness and hunger? The fossil record is incomplete. The evidence is fragmented, and the debate remains one of the most fascinating and fiercely argued topics in paleontology. The only certainty is that the story of dinosaur extinction is far more complex than once believed, and perhaps it's still not entirely over. What if the extinction of the dinosaurs wasn't absolute? What if, instead of a clean break, some species adapted, evolving, shrinking, and transforming to survive in a world turned cold and dark? Among the countless dinosaurs that perished, a few had traits that may have given them an edge. Flight, for one, was a powerful advantage. Small, feathered dinosaurs, some already capable of gliding or limited flight, could have escaped ground-level dangers, searching for food or shelter in places their larger cousins couldn't reach. Their small size meant lower food requirements, and their warm-blooded physiology may have allowed them to regulate body temperature more efficiently in the dropping post-impact temperatures. These traits shared with today's birds may have been the difference between extinction and survival. Over time, the descendants of these survivors adapted even further, developing into the millions of bird species we see across the globe today. But this raises an eerie possibility. Could there have been hidden populations of non-avian dinosaurs, small, isolated groups that clung to existence in remote or protected environments, living on for years after the impact while the rest of the world burned? And if some dinosaurs did manage to evolve rapidly, how different were they from the birds perched in trees today? The line between what we call dinosaur and bird is not as clear as we once believed. In fact, paleontologists now classify birds as a type of theropod dinosaur, 
meaning, in a very real sense, dinosaurs never truly disappeared. They changed. They adapted. They flew away from the end of the world and into a new beginning. So when we ask if dinosaurs could have survived, maybe the answer is already around us, hidden in plain sight, in feathers, beaks, and claws, echoes of a prehistoric past that never completely died. In the end, no matter how fiercely they fought to survive, the outcome was inevitable. After the asteroid struck, Earth ecosystem began to unravel. With sunlight blocked by a thick veil of ash and soot, photosynthesis halted, plants withered, and herbivores starved. As the food chain collapsed, predators soon followed, left with nothing to hunt and nowhere to hide. Temperatures plummeted, rainfall patterns changed, and the world became a cold, hostile wasteland. Even the most resilient species were pushed to their limits. Some scientists believe a few dinosaurs may have survived the initial impact, perhaps living on for weeks or even years in isolated pockets, but they were only delaying the inevitable. The fossil record grows silent after a certain point. The last known non-avian dinosaur bones fade from the geological timeline just above the impact layer, marking the slow and final death of a 165 million year reign. No more giant predators, no more thunderous herds, only bones buried beneath ash and stone, remnants of a lost world. The great dynasty of the dinosaurs did not vanish in a single day, but their fate was sealed the moment the asteroid struck and eventually they were gone forever. The age of dinosaurs had ended, a new world had begun. Aesthetics didn't all vanish in a single heartbeat. Some may have lingered, surviving in the shadows of a collapsing world. The asteroid wasn't the kill shot, but the slow beginning of the end. But if a few dinosaurs did survive the impact, could their descendants still walk the earth today, hiding in plain sight? Subscribe and turn on notifications. The past still whispers secrets.